Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about our review article that focuses on T regulatory cells and their role in tumor progression and therapy. As we know, cancer arises due to deregulation in the growth of functionally matured somatic cells and immune evasion is one of the key event for the successful establishment of tumors. Cancer cells modulate several immune pathways and networks that lead to secretion of immunosuppressive cytokines like IL-10 and TGF-beta. This modulation affects the maturation of dendritic cells resulting in defective antigen presentation. Tumor cells also secrete B71, B72 and PDL1 ligands which are co-inhibitory mediators and are responsible for tolerance and immune deviation. Tumor cells also elicit fast and trial mediated apoptosis and above all induce immunosuppressive cells like T regulatory cells to evade immune responses. T regulatory cells which are also called as T regs are an important subset of CD4 positive T cells that regulates the host responses to infection, autoimmunity and neoplasm. These cells have a high expression of CD25 which is a IL-2 receptor and transcription factor FOXP3 that plays an important role in the development of Tregs. regs Several mechanisms appear to be involved in Treg mediated immunosuppression and hence our review article provides a brief account of these mechanisms and present T regulatory cells as an important component of tumor immunobiology. We also discuss the various preclinical and clinical strategies pursued to obviate the limitations imposed by these cells. Several strategies such as antibodies targeting the important T-Rex cell surface receptor molecules like CD25, CTLA4, GITR, OX40 or small molecule inhibitors and ionizing radiation reduce the T-Rex cell number and thus represent the currently available modalities for T-Rex depletion. Recent studies from our laboratory have demonstrated that glycolytic inhibitor 2-deoxydglucose which inhibits metabolic activity in tumors reduces the Tdac frequency. Therefore, 2-DG can be used in combination with immunotherapy in addition to its recognized role as an adjuvant for chemo and radiotherapies. Taken together, Existing and emerging evidences suggest that depletion or functional suppression of Treg via targeted therapy as well as by conventional therapeutic modalities is a good strategy that result in enhanced anti-tumor immunity and therapeutic outcome. Thank you.